For this video, I was on vacation in Montreal, the second largest city in Canada. I wanted to go over a specific aspect of their metro system that's pretty rare for the rest of the world. Since I'm on vacation, this video won't be edited as well, but hopefully it's still fine. Thank you for understanding, let me know what you think. The subway system here uses rubber tires instead of metal wheels and tracks, like most other subway services in traditional rail. Why do cities like Montreal, Paris, and Mexico City use rubber wheels on their metros? Rubber is very gripping and it allows the motor to deliver as much power as possible to the ground. It lets metros run in hillier places like Montreal, and it lets them go up slopes much faster. Rubber tire metros have quicker acceleration and braking. This lets them place the stops closer together. Rubber wheels are also great for keeping speed on turns. They don't make that same screeching noise that we always hear in New York. Supposedly, rubber tires are a bit quieter than steel, but it's still very loud. It basically sounds like a highway, and I could barely hear someone a foot away. Another thing is the initial cost. Rubber tire metros don't require the same steel rails, they run in concrete rollways. While they still require some steel, it's a lot cheaper. They still use a third rail, but it's in the form of guide bars. There's a really in-depth article about this that I'll leave below. From what I gather, that's about it for the good stuff. Studies show that steel will reduce friction by up to 85 to 99%. Rubber tires are very expensive and they wear out really quickly. They also add to the running costs because more friction means more power is required to move the train. A big issue with using rubber tires in general is that it's harder to recycle the metal. Once tires are worn out, they can be turned into asphalt, turf, playground material, or burned for fuel. But they can't be turned back into new tires. The quality would keep degrading and it's not safe to reuse. That's part of why buses are still not perfect solutions. And right now, the Montreal Metro is just a series of underground electric buses. Now, for my thoughts, I just say stick with steel. Rubber systems just don't last as long, from the concrete rollways to the rubber tires. It just doesn't make sense for a city's long run. For a metro system that moves dozens of trains per hour per line, rubber is so much less energy efficient. I'm curious to hear your comments about this, but I say just go with steel. So to wrap it up, despite some clear issues with the unique rubber tire metros, they serve their niche purpose as well. Rubber tires are great for lower capacity transport where there won't be that much distance covered. Special thanks to this article by McGill University of Montreal. It talks about this topic very well and I'll leave it below as well.